Hey folks, Kwame here, uh, just doing a quick Squarespace tutorial. Uh, I'm going to do this on 7.1, obviously, but this should actually work on 7.0 as well. So it was a request from uh, Olivia Chapman on the Squarespace designers group, who wants a two column summary block on desktop and mobile and just to keep it consistent like that. So if I just chuck a blank summary block in here, and I'm going to make it full width for simplicity. Oh, my mouse is acting strange. Where are you? Let's so set as a basic blog. So she's probably got it set up to grid like this. And you said four items, two columns, two columns. So obviously what you can do is you can mess with the, where's the, uh, where's it gone? I apologize. Um, you can play with the size and spacing. There we go. And you can control the column widths like this. But then it come onto mobile and this isn't ideal. And it's just not exactly how we want it. So what I suggest doing is heading on over back to list setup. Leave it like that. Uh, you can make the image size whatever you want. I tend to push it up to 80 um, just because obviously our CSS that we're going to add is not the default Squarespace CSS. And what it does is it sets some styles and things in line. So this just tends to make things a little bit cleaner. Uh, let's just go ahead and save that. We could make the section full width, but I'm just going to keep it really simple. And let's just get start writing our CSS. So <clears throat> I'm actually just going to target the whole section. Um, you could target by the block ID, but this is just my preferred way. It makes it easier when I'm copying and pasting the code onto YouTube. So first things first is we want to set it to a grid layout. So let's do that. We are going to target the uh, summary list, no item list, sorry. There we go. Set it to display grid. We're going to set it to uh, grid template columns 1FR, 1FR. And we're going to come back to that in a moment. Obviously, this is not how we like it looking. So we want to change the um, item layout. And, oops, sorry, item layout. And so to do that, we target the summary item normally, but we need to do something a little bit different because it's already set to stack, you know, to block, uh, to, to block. But these two elements are, um, they're having their width control that's, you know, 80%, 20% or something like that. So even if we stack them, it's still going to look ugly. So I'm going to fix that first. So first is fix content width. And what I'm going to do, so I'm actually going to go back and I'm going to take add the uh, SQS block summary v2 class up here in the section. Um, <clears throat> this allowed a little bit of extra specificity, which is useful for me because it saves doing important um, declarations. Um, and it just speeds this next bit up. So we want to target two elements. They are the summary thumbnail outer container and the summary content. And do you know what? Let's actually, yeah, let's add another little class up here, the SQS gallery design list. Uh, again, just adds a bit of specificity and hopefully will save some um, some further important declarations. So summary thumbnail, con outer container and summary content. So let's do them here. Uh, summary thumbnail, outer container and summary content width 100%, height, uh, sorry, not height 100%, just width 100%. Nothing happening yet, because we are still gonna need an important just because within Squarespace's code, it uses one, but this just makes things a little bit nicer. Now you can see that that image is, ooh, it's not scaling very well. It's not looking great. In fact, even if we refresh the page, it's probably still gonna be a little bit janky. Oh, it's cleaned up quite nice. Sometimes we've got to mess, uh, we, we've got to adjust it a little bit more. 
with some of these summary blocks, but let's just inspect. And I'm looking at the um, <clears throat> at the the styling for the image itself. And one thing that um, is happening is like the height and the width are being set absolutely in pixels, and also. Uh, in summary blocks, there's a tiny offset to the left. I don't know if you can see that. And we don't love that. So let's fix that as well. Uh, the element we want to target here, fix image, is, what is it? Summary thumbnail image. Yeah. So let's be nice and specific. IMG dot uh, summary thumbnail image. We're just going to do width 100%, just so, and height 100%. I know it's fine, but I do tend to put these ones in because sometimes I just find that the um, the scaling of images ends up getting a bit wacky. Um, oh, and then left zero important. Let's add that in and let's just check. So. It's still a little bit off. Let's save though and refresh the page because sometimes when you are editing in the browser like this, it doesn't directly, <clears throat> sorry, it doesn't immediately refresh. And please forgive my sore throat. That's looking pretty good. We do have this one little bit up here that I do want to get rid of. And that's on the summary thumbnail container. There's just a bit of padding right. So summary thumbnail container padding right zero we shouldn't need an important there but let's just double check it's still there let's refresh the page just in case my browser hasn't updated there we go and i know you're probably thinking but we don't want it full width we'd like a little bit of a gap as there was before and you're right we do, but let's just make sure we've got everything. Okay, let's return back. Ooh, sorry, let's uh, get rid of the selection tool. Let's head back up here to where we set up the grid layout and we can just add a grid gap. And I always get these two the wrong way around. So let's do something big, just so it's obvious, five rem and one rem. Now I can refresh the page and either the vertical or the horizontal spacing is going to be massive, but at least that way I'll remember which way around it is. Uh, there you go. So vertical and then horizontal. I tend to make the vertical spacing a little bit bigger than the horizontal spacing. So let's just set that back to two rem and we can refresh it in a second. Otherwise though, this is, this is looking pretty good. Yeah. And that's going to stay the same regardless of, let's just make this full width. Where is, there we go. Regardless of the sizing. The annoying thing is with a fluid engine, you do have to do this uh, block resizing. I am sure at some point Squarespace will work on a little fix for that, but all in all works pretty well. Um, is there anything else we would like to add in here? I suppose um, the only thing I would add is if you want it here at media, let's just say max width 9,000 pixels, just because we're not going to use it. Um, if you wanted to have different uh, grid sizing for different breakpoints, you could put that in. So for example, I know you've, um, Olivia, you said you just wanted it to be two for everything, but let's say I did at 900 pixels, I wanted to do grid template, uh, columns, uh, 1FR, 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 and refresh. Well, let's actually make it something a little bit more obvious. Let's make it five, which is going to look terrible, but at least it makes it obvious that it's working. So, ooh, sorry, hang on a second. I knew I'd made a typo. Grid template columns. As you can see, 
attention to detail is probably important here. But there you go. And missed the N as well. <laughs> Not my day. Last try. Oh, not max width, sorry. Well, max width is gonna make it horrible on the wrong. I meant to use min width. Again, attention to detail is probably useful for these things if you don't want to <laughs> end up making um, making lots of little mistakes, but there you go. So you can control a different viewpoints, etc. Um, let's get rid of that. And let's just put it at 10 pixels just so that I can leave it there. And I'll put a note because I'm going to copy and paste this into the description. Uh, change, sorry, change uh, grid columns at various uh, screen sizes. Let's go with that. Uh, so the last thing is obviously this little bit of spacing here. I really don't like the setup of padding, padding, padding. So that's why I kept this in here. My preference is to do display flex, flex direct, direction, direction, and set that to column, and then just do a gap and let's just say one rem if we want consistent spacing between all of the elements. That tends to work quite cleanly. However, if you would prefer, you know, a larger gap between the image and the heading, and then the heading and the text, you can get a little bit more granular and yet yeah, use padding or margin or whatever there. But I know it's got a little bit long winded. I hope it was useful. Fundamentally, you are setting the summary item list to a grid and do your spacing in your columns there. This item layout bit is kind of optional. You might want to take a different approach, as I said. Uh, make sure you've set the outer container and the content to 100% width. I would suggest these little bits here with the fixed image, um, just because I find it means that when you're scaling onto different viewport sizes and things, everything works a little bit more cleanly. Ooh, and let's get rid of this min width, sorry. Max width. Yep, don't be like me and remember your differences between min and max width. Uh, you might want to do something such as here. Let's just highlight it so you can see. So uh, there you go. That was the last thing. Summary items tend to have this margin bottom on them already, that little orange bit there. Um, that bit I would get rid of, margin bottom, or in fact, I'm just gonna be do shorthand and do margin zero. So it gets rid of all of the margins, because I think, might not be summary blocks, it might be grid blocks. Sometimes they use a margin right and the margin bottom to create the grid, but yeah. That'll tidy up that spacing a little bit. Um, there's also padding bottom. Ah, yeah, the other bit to get rid of. <laughs> uh, so let's do that. Padding uh, bottom zero. And refresh. Please forgive me that my browser isn't automatically updating. There you go. Slightly tighter spacing, you might want more, you might want less. There you can see our grid. In fact, let's just leave that on. And then each item is set. One thing you might notice there though is, um, as I've set it to flex, there's a little bit of uh, spacing there at the bottom, that little bit of purple, because this is a random after element. or well, not random, but it's a legacy after element that um, Squarespace puts in. So if you are using flex, and I'll put this note, using flex, do a summary item, double colon after display none. 
And do we need an important on that? You probably don't need an important on that. Let's just double check. So as you can see, there's this little bit of extra spacing there. Let's refresh, reload the page rather. And that's tightened it up. I will drop this code in the description. I know it's a little bit long winded, but I wanted to kind of show your options. Um, hopefully though, this was useful.